Hey folks, well, it's been a week, seven days, and I've got the Mac. And yeah, I love it. It does a great job. I bought it for one very specific reason, for speed and weight. Okay, and that's it. It has that SSD drive, you know, and it just flies. It is just, I've been editing video and pictures. It just does everything so quick. It's just mind boggling. That's why I made the investment. This one notebook is replacing my other two Dells. Now, it has nothing to do with Windows or Mac, because I'm here to tell you, Mac's got issues too. I've already found some. That's because I'm not doing things out of the box. I am customizing, I am pushing it. But it does a great job. Now, within a week, I've got all sorts of things customized, okay? I've got, well, you know, I've, I've got my hub, okay? So with my hub, I can sit there and run, you know, a whole lot of uh, readers. I can hook up four readers so I can ingest four CF cards at one time. I've got all my externals, my IOSafe, you know, uh, drives working on USB 3, which is really fast, working really well. What else have I got? Well, I got, and this is really, I really love this, the new Buffalo one terabyte Thunderbolt. This drive, this thing bloody rocks. This thing screams. How much? How fast? I have video on here, and I've been editing video that's on here through the notebook, and it's just screaming. It's just flying by. I love it. Now, a lot of people have asked, now how difficult was it to go from Windows to Mac? And is it really like a nightmare? It's not a nightmare. It's pretty simple, actually, once you start understanding some logic. Now, I have to admit that the control key on the PC, which is way out on the left corner of the keyboard, and the command key on the inside left corner of the Mac. I keep, when I go to the Windows, I hit the wrong one. When I go to the Mac, I hit the wrong, I, so I haven't got that all in there. And some of the key, keyboard shortcuts, I haven't got quite memorized, but I've got a lot of them. But I've got a lot of things dealt with really easily. I've got the folder structure all set up the way I want. I've got the file structure all the way I want. You know, I can sit there and, and easily come in and go into uh, many different things within my system. I have my temp folder, which I'm so uh, hooked on. I can do my shows. Um, I have my photographs all in here. That's all hooked up and ready to go, which I really like. Um, I've got my toolbar on top customized, so I can easily add a new folder and delete it. Um, I'm getting, gotta get used to this delete key, no, you know, it's a backspace key kind of thing. I do have uh, the ability, and I've got through apps, I've gone through and bought a number of different folders already within my, my Mac to make things work, which I'm really liking. Uh, so I can do my screen captures. I can, you know, sync my drives, my backups, my images. So some things like Word and Keynote, they're all on here, as well as, you know, my, I'm using a photo mechanic on Apple for my dam, and of course, Bridge and Photoshop. And to make this all work, I had a, I had a, well, I asked for help. I got some help from some friends, my son Brent, and then, I did happen to find what I thought was a really good resource, okay? And this book here has done a really good job of kind of relating what is Windows, what is Mac, so I can go back and forth. Because there is, you know, there's quite a few hidden files in your Mac. You might not know that. You have to, on sometimes you have to hold down the control key and then double click on a folder and then some of the packets will start opening up for you, which if you didn't know that little trick, you wouldn't find them. Otherwise, you know, the main thing is I'm looking for speed, and I'm looking for that incredible lightweight. And this thing is a small pack. This Retina display is gorgeous. Uh, it's absolutely spectacular. The announcement today that, that Adobe is going to start and uh, take Photoshop and, uh, you could say, upgrade it so it works with the Retina display is really exciting, as well as Premiere for video editing. But uh, other than that, I'm here to tell you, this system is really cool. Now, to, to see that all I got, just follow the links at the very bottom of the page here for all the products I got. But I can't recommend enough, you know, going and getting the Thunderbolt Buffalo. I mean, it's one terabyte drive. I have never seen anything as fast for an external in my entire life. This thing, um, it is worth the investment, it screams. Well, that's week one of Moose in the Mac. Stay tuned for more.